You want to take it? Come on. You got it. You take it. Roll with it, man. Roll with it. Roll with it. And we're back. Here I am, Fly Navarro, Fly Zone Fishing. I'm here at Florida Detroit Diesel Allison with my man Hugh. Hugh, right now we're talking about your fuel filter. Walk us through the whole process of changing your fuel filter and the whole fuel system. On this engine, Volvo offers this fuel system. In the bottom here, there's a drain that we can use for checking if there's water or debris in the, in the fuel system before we ever change it. You can loosen this and put a cup under it and catch to see if there's fuel or water that comes out. There's also a water sensor located in the bottom, which is right here, connected to the housing. And what does that do? If you get water in the system, either through the fill or bad fuel, um, this will set an alarm and derate the engine so that we don't damage the injectors or fuel pump system on the engine. But to change it, this bottom housing here is removable and savable, reusable. Okay. This is the cartridge that actually gets replaced. So it, once again, it's left to loosen it. You would break the bottom half loose and unscrew the cartridge. Of course, you want to have some sort of container underneath to catch the fuel that's in there or the, or the, the water or debris that's in there. Once you reinstall the system, by putting the cartridge and the base back on, you would loosen this fitting here. And then, what is this fitting right here? This is your air bleed. Okay. So you loosen this, you and what does that do? It breaks it, the, this, the this vacuum? Would, this would allow the air to come out. Okay. This is a pump that Volvo has installed on the housing that allows you to prime the system by loosening, the, loosening it and then pulling it up and, and pumping it up and down to prime the system. You have to allow the air to come out here. If not, you're just pushing the air into the system and the engine will not start, it'll be air bound. All right, now let's say we uh, change our fuel filter and we got everything fueled up, we start running and next thing you know, we get airlock. What is the best way to fix it? And airlock is when the engine won't start because there's air in the system. What is the best way to fix, remedy that situation? You have to figure out where the air came from first. Okay. If we've just changed filters, we have to assume we didn't get all the air out of the system when we changed the filters or we left the handles in the off position. Which happens. Which happens. So you have to remedy those problems first. Once you remedy where the air comes from, then once again, you would loosen the fitting here on top of the filter housing and pump this handle until we have it, until we get rid of all the air. Listen, don't worry about it. Keep rolling through. You know why? Because <laughs> my phone rings all day all the time. long. All day long. So you pump it through and you go ahead and... And, uh, and it'll push all the air out of here. Once you have all the air out, you would close this valve. Okay. Okay. And then you would pump it probably 6, 10, 12 more times until it's firm. Once it's firm, you would turn the key and crank it and the system will start. It'll self-bleed the rest of the air out. Well, there you guys have it. Thanks for joining us here at Florida Detroit Diesel Allison and the Fly Zone.